Names were called, and the smallest people went first, uh, followed by the men with the biggest ears and the women without chins. <laughs> Soon I was the only one left, and I got nervous. But uh, just as I was about to give up hope, the manager came out of her office, cocked her finger, led me down the hallway, shook my hand, and said, Congratulations, sir. You are an elf. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm 30, and this is my work uniform. <laughs> now, on any given day, you can be a entrance elf, a water cooler elf, a bridge elf, train elf, maze elf, island elf, magic window elf, emergency exit elf, counter elf, magic tree elf, pointer elf, photo elf, usher elf, Santa elf, cash register elf, runner elf, or exit elf. Um, then in the afternoon, Santa Howard got this little Asian girl who I guess wasn't familiar with the idea of leaving cookies and milk out for Santa. So um, when he asked her what she was going to leave, she got this kind of puzzled look on her face. He tried to help her out by saying, uh, something round to eat. And she said, a potato? <laughs> I saw this woman shake and slap her sobbing daughter, saying, God damn it, Rachel! You're gonna sit on that man's lap and you're gonna smile, and I'll give you something to cry about. <laughs> I said, Excuse me, excuse me, you there, Elf. Come here, come here. Now, tell young Riley here that um, if he doesn't start behaving immediately, Santa is going to change his mind and uh, bring him coal for Christmas. I said that Santa no longer traffics in coal. I said that nowadays, if you're bad, Santa breaks into your house and steals things. <laughs> I told Riley that if he didn't start behaving immediately, Santa was gonna come down his chimney, take his TV, <laughs> all his appliances, leave him in the dark. I said, you know what, kid? He's gonna take your refrigerator. <laughs> All your food's gonna spoil. <laughs> it's gonna stink in your house. You are gonna be so cold. It's gonna be so dark. Man, Riley, are you ever gonna suffer? You are gonna wish that you never heard the name Santa Claus. <laughs> the mother, she got this concerned look on her face and said, oh, 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 okay. Oh, thank you. That's enough. Said, he's gonna take your car and all your furniture and all your towels and your blankets and lay down with nothing. <laughs> I mean, one minute there, they're shopping for China, and the next minute they're at the magic tree where an elf with a palm sized counter says, How many in your party? The uh, confused foreigner says, Yes! <laughs> How many in your party is not a yes or no question. How many in your party? Yes. <laughs> Through it all, the noise, the deafening, with parents screaming and kids crying, <laughs> and parents shouting, God damn it, we're here, all right? Stop it, what more do you want me to do? Please, John. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little elf, oh, little elf. Come and sing angels we have heard on high for us. Now, I did not feel that it was fair that I should have to go solo on this one. So I said, oh, sorry, I don't know the words either. Santa Santa said, of course you know the words. Come now, sing. <laughs> So I sang it. I sang it the way that, uh, that Catherine Hepburn might have sung it. <laughs> Had she ever released a Christmas album. <laughs> Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plain, and in the sky echoing their joyous strain. The Lord! 